So I've posted this midterm on uh, Brightspace. It was from last semester. And uh, you can take a look at that and see something that's very similar to what you're going to see that I'll be handing out. Well, it'll be uploaded on uh, Brightspace and open to you at noon on the day of the midterm. So let's take a look at what it, we have. We have the different wall types. We have our uh, elevations, our level, uh, where we want our levels to be, okay? Um, so the way that I would attack this is just, let's assume that you have followed my previous videos and set your uh, midterm, uh, the preliminary midterm up as, as I've suggested. And so here's how I would attack it. I would look at wall A, it's three feet wide, and it's three feet of concrete. I would go over to uh, wall type A. Now this is the legend, so we aren't, we can't change it here. But I would go to the first floor. There's my wall type A. Edit the type. Edit the structure. It's concrete, but it's three feet wide. And say, OK, so there's my wall A. OK, I would go back to the uh, handout and take a look at the uh, Wall type B is 24 inches of concrete, four inch airspace, and eight inches of brick. Well, let's see if I can remember that. 24, four, and eight. So wall type B, edit the type, edit the structure. Um, it's four inches, no, I already forgot. So I'll go back again and take a look at it. It's eight inches of brick. So we change that to eight inches. Then it is four inch airspace. So the airspace becomes four inches. And it is 24 inches of concrete. So we change our concrete to 24 inches. Okay. Now we can look up here and say, all right, well, how wide is it? It is three feet wide. Let's double check here. It's three feet wide, so we're good there. Now we'll take a look at C. It's starting to get a little more complicated. Maybe um, this might be a good solution. Let's do that and then drag it over. So I can see both. I've just minimized one, so this one's okay. We'll say okay to that. What is C? And so we'll make this a little bit smaller. So we have them both open at the same time. And we want to do wall type C. Okay. Edit the type. Edit the structure. The uh, brick is on the outside. And it's 8 inches. So we change that to 8 inches. Then we have a 4 inch airspace. We'll change that to 4 inches. Then we have two inches of rigid insulation, so we change that to two. And what else do we have? Three quarter inch plywood sheathing. Okay, well, looks like the arrows don't go where they're supposed to, but the materials are right. So let's put that three quarter inch of plywood sheathing. It's already there. How thick is it? One foot, two and three quarters. The width is correct. We'll say okay. And we'll say okay. And it's pretty simple to do that through the rest, but let's go look at the legend now. Look at that. Wall type A is changed to the material that we want it to be in the legend B and C. Okay, so let's uh, let's annotate and uh, I don't know if this is what we want. No, we want to. Um, we want to tag material, which is this one, I believe. Let's double check. We'll just hover over top of it. It's not letting me do that. 
I'll click here and then come back up. Tag material. Boom. And we'll just put that right there. Now the next one, we want to tag the material. Tag the material and tag the material. Let's get it down a little bit lower here. Try to line it up. We're still doing it. Let's tag the material. Tag the material. Tag the material. It's telling us exactly what it's supposed to be. And that last one is live achieving. Let's put that up here. And then just drag it up. All right, so we can continue through that, but let's not. So uh, let's go to our section now. And let's go to our other section. We have that set up. This is FB, so that's front to back. Let's go side to side. There's our, there's our levels. So what we would do now, let's go back to our midterm handout, and we'll take a look at the levels. Make that bigger for a second. And there's our levels. Okay, well, I think maybe we can make that a little bit smaller. Drag that over. And we'll just change it uh, to what it should be. Eight foot 11 and a half is the basement wall. Uh, top of basement wall. First floor is five foot six. Let's do that one first. Five foot six. Okay. Top of basement wall is two feet. Top of basement wall is two feet. Oops. Drag it down a little bit. Uh, grade zero. Bottom of garage footing. Bottom of basement wall. Eight feet, 11.5 inches. Now we're getting an error message. What's it saying? Uh, the wall is shorter than the minimum height allowed. So we're ta that's talking about a stacked wall. So we're going to just delete that stacked wall for now. Because it it's larger than the um, distance from the top of the wall down. Okay, so let's go up another one here. Top of first floor wall. 15 foot 6 and five eighths. Then the second floor is 16, six and five eighths. And then 24, seven and a quarter for the very top here. Second floor is good. The top of the second floor wall is 24, seven and a quarter. All right, so let's just double check our heights here. Eight foot oh and five eighths, one foot, 10 foot oh and five eighths. Three foot six, two and three foot six. What are we measuring to? Three foot six from the first floor. To the bottom of the basement wall. Um, let's double check that. Okay, we're good. Three foot six. Yep. Then two feet to the grade from where? From the top of the basement wall. Let's double check that. From the, and that's correct. And then do we 
have an overall distance here. Yeah, eight foot 11 and a half, eight foot 11 and a half. Nope, we didn't do the bottom of the basement. So that's what it's always good to double check here. Eight foot 11 and a half, we're gonna change this bottom of basement to eight feet, 11.5. So I've shown you how I would start attacking this project. The next video I'll talk about making the uh, the actual stacked walls. Let's go back and take a look at our stacked walls. It might be gone. We have to make it. We'll have to make a new stacked wall because remember the stacked walls that we that I had for my example were much taller than these stacked walls. So Revit said, "Hey, I can't make your wall go to the top of the." second floor wall all the way down to the bottom of the basement so we simply deleted it but that's not a big deal in the next video we'll actually make the stacked wall and then give it the heights that we have right here so you can see that if you take a uh, approach to this a logical sequential approach to this it should not take you the three hours and 20 minutes but it might uh, it will definitely take you close to that if you don't come prepared with your uh, uh, base uh, project for the midterm file already created.